So I think there are two secrets to the ease of creating videos. One is to have one that's in your browser that's like right up there. Um, so Loom is one of them. And um, I just uploaded Loom here. So if you click on this, um, you can then go to Loom and it loads this. Um, I'm just going to skip this for now. You start recording here, right? Um, so that would be how Loom works. Um, I don't use Loom. Um, I and, and I think Loom has block for the moment. I think uh, Loom has the same limitations as most of the others do, which like like a five minute limit recording, but I'm not sure um, how much Loom has. The one I use, and I'll scoot this over here for a second so you can see what I use. Oh, come on. Um, I use um, this one here. Um, which is a screen something or another. Um, but I'm using it. Um, I actually don't use the free version. Um, I use the, um, the paid version because um, it uh, the free version only allows you to do like five minutes or so. And I do entire lectures with it. Um, it's super easy to use because it's got that extension thing where, you know, you literally just go up there and you'd be like, click on it and say record. Um, the other thing I think that's really super helpful um, is to have two screens. Um, I, I actually think ever since I've learned to work with two different screens, um, I've gotten better at um, doing the whole um, video recording kinds of things um, because I have the ability to, you know, to kind of prepare things on one screen and then move them on the other or have like presentations on the other screen. And um, so I, I think that's that may be the other part um, to that equation. But yes, videos definitely are the way to go. I wish I could get my students to do it.